Hello, I'm Armin Budish. Welcome to Golden Opportunities. Today, women face unique financial challenges, and we've got workable solutions. We'll list the right way for <laughs> heirs to sell the family home. Plus, we'll sneak a peek into Katherine Hepburn's closet. And what will happen to you if the national health care law is dismantled? If we had this line up anywhere else, they'd be lined up out the door. All you have to do, though, is pull up a chair and join us at our kitchen table for Golden Opportunities. The last time Jim Lineweaver was in the kitchen, we spoke about the unique challenges women face managing money. We began to preview the distinct financial stages in their lives. Well, Jim didn't want to leave us hanging. We didn't get through all of it last time, so now he's back to complete his great financial advice for women. Jim's a financial planner with the Line Weaver Financial Group. Thanks for joining us, Jim. Thanks for having me back. All right, so we, were get, we got to stage three, which is women who are recently divorced. They have special financial concerns. They really do. And this is where we've seen a lot of mistakes happen. You know, unfortunately today, 40% of marriages end in divorce. So this wow. is a lot more common than we would like to admit. But unfortunately, because of that, they really have to do a lot of things to dot their I's and cross their T's. One of them is making sure immediately they change their beneficiaries. I could tell you horror stories of money going to ex-spouses and stuff, and even after people are remarried. So make sure you dot oh your I's. Oh, oh yeah, you life Your money goes to an ex-spouse if you don't change the beneficiary? Yeah. Yeah, so you oh, got to yeah, so you got to really got to dot your eyes and cross your T's on these things because that's probably the last person after your divorce that you want the money to go to. Also, you want to update your estate plan and look at the life and health and disability benefits and work and stuff because a lot of times, you know, a lot of women out there did not get disability insurance because their spouse might have been the major breadwinner. But unfortunately, if that's no longer the case, obviously in a divorce and they lose their ability to earn an income, they could lose everything. So you really got to look at the benefits that you have. All right, so now let's switch gears. Woman is single, but not because of divorce but because a spouse dies what do they need to know yeah well this is very likely too because women on average live to age 81 and men only to 73 there's a, so there's an eight-year difference in life I expectancy. hate hearing that and like just driving us to <laughs> you know where but in any event uh, they do they first thing when a woman becomes a widow they don't want to do knee-jerk reactions they got a there's a lot of emotional things that can happen but you do want to see an advisor to take some things slow you review the life and health and disability insurance if there's any kids education that's that you have to deal with out there. There might be additional financial aid and stuff that you can qualify for. Uh, you want to update the estate plan. Again, change those beneficiaries. Look for guardians for the kids if they're younger and things along that nature. And especially for widows, call Social Security because you want to make sure that you might be entitled to some benefits and also pension benefits a lot of time will extend over to the surviving widow. So there might be a whole raft of, of benefits you should be yeah, aware really of. a long list of things you got to go through. And uh, uh, coming back to the um, life insurance. If your spouse, if your husband had life insurance, they don't just send you a check. You got to do something affirmative. Yeah, a lot of times what you're going to have to do is get the death certificates, get claim forms, and submit those. A lot of times you can do this with a lot of other change of beneficiaries and stuff at the same time. But a lot of times what they'll do is not just cut you a check. They'll go through the process, put it into an account, issue a checkbook, and then you can write off that if you need to in the future. Since women tend to outlive men. They have some special needs when it comes to retirement and retirement planning, too. They really do. And this is where, with that life expectancy, comes making sure that you're not going to outlive your money. So there's a lot of things that you want to look at in this regard as well. Um, we talked about some of the pension issues, Social Security, things along that nature. But you really got to make sure that you're now probably going to lower that level of risk because there's not two breadwinners or one, and especially in retirement. Risk and of also investments you're talking investment about? Investment risk, yes. Making sure you have the right allocation and taking on more risk than you can afford to lose. And then also really a lot of women end up in long-term care facilities, nursing homes, assisted living facilities, and that can really put a drain on your finances. So they need to look at long-term care. They need to make sure they're protecting those assets if they want some of those to go to family and loved ones. All right, we've talked about a lot of information. Uh, benefits, uh, you know, insurance, estate planning documents, uh, and on and on. Uh, You've given us a lot of information today and in the last time you were on. Is there a place where all this is together, where we can get all this information and go through it in, in more yeah, detail? As opposed to just four or five minutes, we're going right. to spend over an hour on this at a free education program that we're going to have at my building in Valley View. It's going to be held on March 22nd at 6 p.m., and that's a Tuesday, and also on March 24th at uh, 1 p.m., 
and uh, we'll have refreshments for your viewers and everything along that nature if they'd like to attend. Your office is in Valley View? Yep, right by 77 and 480. And will this seminar um, have a cost to it? No, it's free and we're going to cover all the aspects that we've covered in the last two shows for you. Uh, do people have to sign up in advance? They or do. A call? Okay. No, no cost, but they, we only have like 45 seats, so yeah. they fill up fast. So if they'd like to attend, please have us give us a call this as soon as possible. Great information, Jim. Thank you so much. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate it. All right. Managing money through all of life stages can be challenging, and women have unique circumstances that require even more attention. Follow Jim's advice and attend his seminar. We know it's in your budget because it's free. My thanks to Jim for joining us today. To find out more, call the Lineweaver Financial Group at 1-888-313-4009 or log on to www.lineweaver.net.